Good day, everybody. I'm Shmi, and I make ads for Path of Exile, and today I kind of have to make this video backwards, because you see, I just finished up about a week of Atlas testing over in Standard League, and, um, well, my results kind of ended up like Thomas Edison's light bulb. I found a whole lot of ways that are really bad for farming gold. In fact, what I found was pretty surprising. I think that GGG may have added the best and most fairly balanced item system ever to Path of Exile. I mean, I've tried. You just kind of can't really abuse it. Sure, killing rare monsters and unique monsters, that gives you more gold. So, I mean, yeah, you can load up on rogue exiles and June missions, but... Um, <laughs> Good luck. Saying it's going to take twice as long for twice as much gold, that's probably going to be generous. Or if you want, you could head down to Delve, or you could head over to Heist and um, get about half as much gold per hour as you would if you just mapped instead. Or if you want, maybe put in a, a nice slow blight encounter or an expedition encounter for a very modest amount of bonus gold. I mean, I love Blight League, and if you do the tower salvage Cassius Pride strategy, just build a whole bunch of towers, get them to max level, it can work well to get some solid gold and farm, but honestly, even then, it's so slow that you're only ending up getting about as much as you would if you just kept mapping. The overall result is simple and pretty awesome. In the end, the one and only thing that matters when you're farming gold is your overall clear speed. Faster clear speed means more gold. Slower clear speed or dinking around outside of maps means less gold. That's all there is to it. After a week of testing, I really only have three tips for you. The first tip is I would specifically recommend that everybody in Boat League invest into shrines. Shrines do add some monsters that can drop gold, yay, but the real prize is the shrine buff itself. Shrine buffs can drastically increase your clear speed, and of all the things I tested, there is nothing in the game that does more to increase your gold farm than an acceleration shrine. Second, along the exact same vein, it is generally advantageous for all players to tech into Nico as well and make sure that you get packed with energy. It's the same buff that you got before. I think it's 100% increased damage and 10% movement speed or something like that. The only difference is that it's been nerfed so that it only lasts 60 seconds. However, even with the nerf, it's still very solid and a very good increase to your clear speed, so you should definitely get Nico in your maps to be, I guess, your sulfite shrine. The last thing to note here is to make sure you level up your mining camp up to the max as quickly as you can. The final upgrade makes it so that whenever you collect ore, you get an equal amount of gold. By the time you're in red maps, you're getting 500 to 1,000 ore from those basic nodes, so having a fully upgraded mining camp nets you 500 to 1,000 gold on top of what you're already doing as long as you're engaging with the league mechanic. Really though, the best overall advice for what I've found is trying to farm gold always fails. The harder that you try, the less gold you end up farming. Really, the best possible strategy is to just speed clear maps as fast as possible to farm gold. Now, as for me, my hand is finally healed up, I'm feeling better, and I'm going to be taking what I have learned from Standard with my couple of Cyclone characters, and I'm going to be making a ruthless Death Cloud Assassin, and I'm, I'm basically just pretending that the League just started. I'm going to go ahead and knuckle down and get to it. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.